Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here, your old composer, breaking down your suggestions here in the Decomposer Lounge. And today, brand new band, like I said this week, uh, doesn't necessarily mean brand new like it was released yesterday, but bands that have never been on this channel, Motionless in White, Eternally Yours. So I look forward to this. Uh, this has been kind of a fun week. It's, it's not one of those weeks where I'm getting tons of views and stuff, but that's my channel has never been about that. Uh, it's been a blessing, all the subscriptions, all you folks hanging out and stuff, but it is for me about finding new music because this channel is actually um, kind of remotivating my life uh, because I had gone through quite the uh, tailspin of losing passion in music, if you can believe that. I might do a video about that maybe next week. Uh, but thank you for your suggestions. Thank you for your support on this channel, for sharing the videos, hanging out on my social media channels. Those links are down below. Hey, and you know what other link is down below? You guys know that when these videos uh, that I do them, you see ads, that's because it's a copyright claim. It doesn't monetize the channel. So if you got uh, a couple bucks, a dollar fifty, two cents, five cents, I don't care if you feel uh, that you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, that link will be down there as well. Also the link for the headsets. Anyhow, I just linked us all out. Here we go. <laughs> Motionless and white, eternally yours. All right. Wow, this is really, really sick. I love the fact that this is kind of a hybrid, heavy EDM. Uh, in the sense, hang on for a second. <laughs> in the sense that they're really lighting it up front and not being shy about, yeah, we're gonna layer up some heavy, hard sounding synths, you know, to get our sound going and stuff. Then when the uh, guitars come in, you may have heard me kind of lean into a couple sounds. The sound is fantastic, the mix is, crazy good now you guys know how i am about celebrating everything i can about my decompositions here uh, one of the things i want to bring in is the engineering i love where the drum owns a particular pocket because well it's the drums and, and everything but what i'm talking about is there's minimal ambient reflection on it or anything on it which keeps it in a very dry pocket powerful pocket because a lot of this stuff is just hardcore um you know um notes that are being held out in the chords and stuff even though there's riffs that are being played in there there's not stop start going on in there and then this guy's vocals is absolutely mad this is just just insane i love this this is what i love about this genre is that you can sit there and you know at first when i when i heard my my, my very first growling video was uh, uh ginger you know and that blew me away i didn't know how anybody did it i didn't know so i made the mistake saying is that an effect boy did i get hammered on that one but as I've been going through now, almost seven months here on this channel, listening to all these vocalists, it's just, I think I mentioned it in the last video too, it's, it's, such, a, it's such a powerful part of the, the prog rock and the metal and, the, and all of the things that I've been listening to. It's just sick to hear it and stuff. So let's continue on here.
Okay, another thing I want to pull out really quick is that there is an obvious keyboard pad going on in the background when the hook is being played. You know, you can hear that they're, you know, he's following uh, the chords. It could be, you know, 158 or whatever the, the, the configuration of what he's playing. It's nice, it fattens up that, it's pulled back behind the guitars, but it really fattens up. Something else is that uh, when I started up this passage, there is a, uh, it's a synth melody. It sounds like a da, 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 da. That's really super cool. I always look for these like secondary melodic arrangements in tracks like this. And, you know, even though we're, we're about celebrating the, the band and the song and stuff like that, for me, you know, pulling all these pieces back to the best as I can hear for an old guy, uh, really makes it exciting. I also love the fact that <clears throat> when he comes in with his power growling, it's double time. And then they break into straight time back into double time but um i was i was waiting for like a half time that was happening and it 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 came it didn't come it came and i got it and it was just what it, i think what i'm really glamming about over that is that the fact that they go in and out of the double time into the straight time slight slight little loss for words here this morning i woke up a little earlier than i should have yeah the older i get the better i was here we go Another super cool thing about this is that there was just, the hook was extremely well written. I mean, that melody that just beats into your head and stuff like that is definitely there. But since I already kind of locked on a little bit to that secondary arrangement, um, I just couldn't help but like get myself into that. But you know, at the very end of this, they colored this in so fat and they just loaded everything up in the mix. And the mix must have been a little bit of a, a fun thing to do. Because uh, you know how I feel about the engineers. Engineers are part of the band during this process. Just an opinion. Not so much so, but <coughs> not so much so that that is a rule of thumb uh, in, in thinking about it. But, you know, get a band in there. If they maneuver, you know, the way the engineers have to maneuver all these layers so you can hear it. Like, for instance, just hearing that da, 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 in the background of the hook underneath all the heaviness, it's still discernible. You can still hear it. And these are these subconscious hooks, uh, melodic hooks that are instrumental melodic hooks that are there kind of um, call and answering sometimes the true melodic hook which he's obviously singing and that hook is really super memorable you know plus you know it's songwriting 101 get that hook in there hit him really hard and then you know hit him hard with that three or four times during the course of a song uh, and when I was kind of blah blah blahing at the end of my stop there when I was saying that they went into double time uh, regular time and then kind of a half time uh, breakdown, but the snare was only on that or something like that. I don't know if it was on the and or whatever, but I love all that change up that happens in there. It really takes you through, you know, a really nice journey. 
the first time I've ever heard of the band, so I don't know what the discography is like. I don't know um, if everything has a very heavy synth presence, but I'm just pumped about the, the hybrid nature of them um, treat, treating the synths and stuff like that as not just some ambient thing in the background is going to happen, but it really takes some real precedence and stuff like that. So, Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was Motionless in White, Eternally Yours. Wouldn't have known about them without your suggestion. If you have any songs from these guys... Uh, a discography you want me to check out when I come around and uh, go back through the uh, catalog please do so once again if you want to buy me a cup of coffee super cool beans links down below link down below for this video I mean for their Spotify for their merch for the head say it's and also for my patreon too uh, that's been really fun all right guys take care have a killer day all right